When you first power up your record and system, it will prompt you to use a setup wizard to program your commissioning settings. Select the yes button to enter into the wizard. The first option is the hot water operation mode. You can run in normal mode where it keeps the cylinder as fast as possible or eco mode where it runs more economically not allowing the inverter to ramp to its maximum speed. Press the forward button to move to the next screen. This option is the cylinder hot water target temperature. It allows you to adjust this up and down. The recommended setting for the Mitsubishi equipment is 55 degrees. The next option is the temperature drop. This is the number of degrees the cylinder temperature has to drop before it will cycle back on on another hot water cycle. The recommended setting is 10 degrees. This next section is the maximum operation time. This should be set higher than the amount of time it took to heat the cylinder from scratch on the first heat up cycle. 90 minutes should be sufficient. The next screen is the hot water mode restriction. This is the amount of time it must wait in between hot water cycles to stop it from constantly cycling on and off in hot water. Next we have a new function for the FTC6, the domestic hot water recharge function. As the FTC6 has a temperature probe at the top of the cylinder and an additional sensor at the bottom of the cylinder, there will be a temperature difference between the two readings. When set as standard, the system cycles on and off using the top sensor. When you have a larger cylinder and a larger water of content, it is recommended to set the function to large, so it cycles on and off from the bottom sensor. We now move on to the Legionella settings. The first one is simply selecting whether you have the Legionella's function on or off. You now need to set your Legionella target temperature. 60 degrees is sufficient for Legionella's prevention, so anywhere from 60 to 65 degrees is absolutely fine. Next we have the Legionella cycle frequency, how often you want it to operate in Legionnaire's mode. Uh, every seven days is absolutely fine to meet building regulations. This is the most common setting. Now we need to tell it what time to run the Legionnaire cycle. This is advisable to do this in the middle of the night when the electrical tariffs are the cheapest. So 3-4 o'clock in the morning would be ideal. Next is the duration of maximum temperature. It needs to hold the temperature above 60 degrees for at least 2 to 3 minutes to meet building regulations. As you can see, you can turn this up and down, but three, about 3 minutes is sufficient. The wizard will now take you through to the heating settings. We have the room adaption mode, fixed flow temperature, and the compensation curve mode. Press the forward button to move to the next screen. This is like a two channel time clock function. You can have it off, on timer mode, or constantly on, which is the arrow symbol. You have the same options for both hot water and heating. Now we can set the domestic hot water pump speed. So this is the speed it's going to circulate the water through your plate heat exchanger in hot water mode. You now need to do the same for the heating pump. You can adjust it up and down from speed 1 to speed 5. Obviously speed 5 is your highest speed, will give you the most flow. Lastly, you need to set the heater capacity restriction setting. The options are inactive, off, level 1 and level 2. This should be decided at design stage. 
Once you've programmed all your settings, it will now ask you to confirm, press yes, and now the wizard is complete.